Y'all see me? Y'all can't take this body, bitch. I'm giving you all kind of areola realness. Because I'm here to spread awareness. Yes, honey. Awareness. Yes, I got breast cancer. Awareness. My sheet not pink, it's purple. Awareness. Because it was laundry day and it's all I got. Awareness. Pardon that stain, that's just a little applesauce. Awareness. <laughs> Speaking of awareness. Nessa, girl, did you get into this last episode of these damn medicine wives? Yes, God, honey. I knew a day was going to come we was going to see Dr. Jackie get pulled all up out of character. And even in the midst of Jackie going the hell off, she still did it classy base. Why she spread awareness. My hair is laid like awareness. Dr. Jackie gets upset, honey. But before we get into this episode of Medicine Wives, I want to see if y'all caught this little bit of awareness. Child, somebody called Vista Print and ordered me about 300 obituaries because it looked like Mary the Medicine might be on its way to being dead to the TV, bitch. I know y'all caught that shade when they said catch Mary the Medicine next week on a new time, Friday at 8 p.m. No, God, honey, let me help y'all with this little piece of awareness. Bitch, ain't no self-respecting grown person sitting at home watching no TV on no Friday at 8 o'clock, okay? Bitch, we is down to the bar, to the Red Lobster, to the movie, or setting up a date for later on tonight, okay? Let me tell you something. And those of us that are married with kids, bitch, ain't no TV available in no house with kids at no 8 o'clock on no Friday. If you got kids under the age of 15, they can't do nothing on no Friday except watch TV, okay? Every TV in the house gonna be occupied. Them kids gonna be in there watching Full House, Family Matters, Step by Step, Boy Meets World, Fresh Prince, Different World, all the Cosby Show, Seven Heaven, all the Raper Shows, Vampire Diaries. The kids be in there watching TV, so y'all married to Madison. This shit must not be selling. I'm a little nervous. I just thought I'd tell the people though about this time change and spread a little awareness. But speaking of, honey, let's get right on into this episode of Medicine Wives. Dr. Heavenly, somebody to get in your ass and humble you, bitch, and spread a little awareness. Dr. Heavenly, I ain't gonna lie. If somebody pick up a thethoscope and choke the shit out your ass, I ain't gonna promise you I'm gonna clap like a seal in the circus. Heavenly, just because you think something and just because that lady is in denial don't mean it's your job to make her see the light or step into the light, Caroline. Heavenly, you got two jobs. You got two jobs, okay? <laughs> to call your husband daddy and to give root canals. That's the only two things you hear for Heavenly. I think the biggest problem is, Heavenly, you feel like because you see some shit, it's your job to fucking tell it. And I'm going to tell you something that I always tell my friends. It is about timing. What good is keeping it real with someone if they are not in a space to receive it at the moment? We all know Lisa Nicole is in denial. And quite frankly, Heavenly, you are not certified, qualified, exemplified, or any other damn fad to be trying to um, make this lady see a breakthrough. What if you would have fucked around and made that lady have a breakthrough in your office and then she would have been driving up and down the street having a nervous breakdown because of your breakthrough? You know what I'm saying? Then she would have broke something, okay? Running up and down the 285 and the 85, spreading awareness about horrible marriages and she been on ran and hit somebody and caused a five car pile up is you prepared to deal with that heavily you only got a half a dental office so i know your insurance policy can't take care of the whole 285 and she caused a 10 car pile up shut the hell up and speaking of awareness let me tell you something heavily i wouldn't go to one of your damn relationship concerts for free 99 god damn it I don't want to call my man daddy, and I damn sure don't want that bitch calling me buddy, okay? Bitch, he can call me baby, he can call me boo-boo, but not buddy, okay? Daddy and buddy sound like some old broke back mountain shit. Quiet as a skip, heavenly shit. Before you got your body right for this show, you did look like a sloppy man, so hell, maybe, 
Maybe something wrong with your relationship. Maybe your husband trying to tell you something, okay? While you around here trying to dissect Lisa Nicole relationship with that ugly ass Albie sure looking like no God, honey. Now how's that for a little bit of awareness? Lisa Nicole, now don't think because I gave Heavenly Ass the business, she was incorrect in what she told you because she was all the way right. You know what I'm saying? My only issue with her is just because you write don't mean it's your place to convey the information that everybody else can see. And Lisa Nicole, you a bright woman. You can see it. You just don't want to see it. You can see it. You can see it. You just don't want to see it. Well, then again, maybe you can't see it because you can't see that them fashions that you be making look a goddamn mess. So how the hell is it? You can't see some shit that's right in front of your face. I can't expect you to decipher something that you can feel. Nonetheless, Lisa... Lisa, you, you, Lisa got that manipulative, rich, white woman personality thing going on where she going to cry and guilt her husband into telling her what she wants to hear to give her the satisfaction of saying, I know he don't want a baby, but he said he did. Cause see, look, he said it. You said it. You said it, Darren. So now we've got to have it. Lisa, you know good and goddamn well that man do not want to have a baby. The man don't told all the people you can feel it in your bones, okay? And here's the thing. You know, I don't think Darren going nowhere because y'all kids so young, it ain't like, oh, you got a 15-year-old and he don't want to start over. I just think he just don't want to be bothered with no more damn kids. Y'all got two, a boy and a girl. I honestly do believe Darren don't stop running the streets on Lisa. But here's the thing. Y'all don't need to complicate the little bit of peace and happiness y'all just found by adding a goddamn newborn to the mix. And you just crying and crying and crying. And unfortunately, Lisa, you must don't get cable down to your expensive ass house. Because if you did, you would realize that we have seen this story on Lifetime 50, 11 times. You think just because your man got a perm in his head that your outcome going to be different? No, God. Okay? Look at the TV and receive the... Awareness. Okay, the people's trying to make you aware. Step into the light, Caroline, and be aware. And then y'all trying to have a relationship um, pageants, conference. Heavenly couldn't tell me shit. And Lisa Nicole damn sure couldn't tell me shit about being in a relationship. Y'all need to go to a relationship class to get y'all some awareness. And try again. Mariah, girl, hey, me and Mariah. Go back like babies on pacifier. Girl, Mariah, you know, when I saw you down to the premiere party and I asked you what your storyline was and you was like, you know, you really wasn't sure or whatever because they didn't do a lot of filming with you. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Mariah's participation in this season feels like somebody owed her a favor and they was just like, girl, we're going to throw you in a couple scenes just to pacify you because... um. Mary the Madison, you know, y'all hoes have effectively exiled the bitch from the island. I mean, she just has no purpose being here. She's not integrated into any of the storylines. Ain't nobody really fooling up with her. And when you see her, it's the most random of scenes. And it's just, um, you know, luckily for you, Mariah, you ain't got to worry about being exiled from the ship too much longer because the whole fucking thing's sinking. Um, <laughs> hence this move. To Friday at 8 o'clock on the day of oh, Lord have mercy Jesus. Lord Toya, I hope you got your taxes under control, bitch. Because next season, y'all ass might not have no check. Work ain't honest, bitch. But I hope she pay what little bills that's left. Moving right along to Miss Quad. Quad, Miss Quad, Miss Quad. Miss Quad just insists on embarrassing her damn family. Episode after episode. Quad, why would you put your brother on the spot like that in front of the whole United States of the world knowing damn well that boy was not qualified to answer no goddamn interview question? What the hell you need to be doing while you were trying to prepare him for the real world? You should have reached down in the cheapest purse you had and gave that bitch an ICDC college pamphlet, okay? Now enrolling in spring classes. That's a little bit of awareness, okay? Yes, God. He need to go to ICDC college and Monica need to go to fat camp, okay? Awareness. Yes, God, honey. Quad, leave the people alone. And you know what? Dr. G, you too damn nice. Because I would have slapped the shit out of Quad had she damn moved some damn people in my house in the moment she gave me some awareness. She letting me know that they stand there for 365 days of the year. Shit, from beginning to when they asked would have been back in Memphis 10. No, God, honey, I can't. 
I can't. And moving right along to the reason why we are here for a little bit of breast cancer awareness. Let me tell y'all something. I knew we was going to see the day that Dr. Jackie got pulled out of character. And even when she did it, baby, she did it like beat, a.k.a. fish. Yes, God, Dr. Jackie, go in and let her. Dr. Jackie, say, listen. Oh, you know what? Before I get on Dr. Jackie, I forgot. This was a particularly good episode of Medicine Wives. Um, for what Dr. Simone and the young man Ethan did on TV. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I ain't transgender. I ain't, you know, I uh, I don't even have know how to spell this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I, so I don't know anything about trans issues. Despite the fact that I'm gay in the gay community, there's still so much segmentation between, you know, the gays and the transgender community. I don't know much about them. And I'm 33. I've been out partying with the gays since I was 22, 23. So I got 10 years in the game. You know what I'm saying? I got 10 years in the game, baby. All kinds of awareness teams. But I don't know much about the transgender community. And one thing that I that Dr. Simone said on this episode was, for those who don't know much, if you could be in the room and experience what Ethan experienced, that it should pull at your heartstrings. And it's so funny because as humans, we process things like this. Oh, it don't have nothing to do with me, so I'm unbothered, I'm unconcerned. That ain't got nothing to do with me. But for five seconds, I had to take a step back and say, wow, how would it make me feel to go get something as routine as a, you know, physical checkup and that just bring in all kind of, you know, frightening emotions and just what that young man was going through um, on the table. That was a lot. So, shouts out to Dr. Simone. And it was timely. With everything that's going on right now with the, with the trans community, it was timely. It was well-placed. Despite the fact that I'm sure of all the patients that could have been um, showcased, this was contrived in that sense or intentional, but it was still good. It was natural. It worked and it achieved what I'm sure you guys set out to achieve, which was a little bit of awareness. Yes, God, honey. Anyway, on to this damn photo shoot. Dr. Jackie, I am really proud of you. You know, I never thought the day would come that we would see Dr. Jackie, old skinny ass, um, with a little sheet on, you know what I'm saying? But she said, I'm going to do it for the cause. And you got some of y'all hoes to take y'all clothes off for a $2 cheeseburger and a, um, and a 45-minute room at the La Quinta Inn. And here it is, Dr. Jackie was getting naked for the cause. Yes, God, honey, I love it. Dr. Jackie, I wouldn't compromise with Curtis ass. I don't give a good goddamn, you deserve your condo. But just like I told Heavenly to stay out of them people marriage, I'm going to stay out of yours. Lord, y'all done brought y'all ass down to Dr. Jackie photo shoot with that damn foolishness. And I, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's heavenly. Heavenly, your head is like a stale loaf of cornbread. Just can't nothing get through it. And I'm gonna tell you another thing, heavenly. Heavenly, you quit to call people insecure, but I really think it's you. You act like a goddamn two-year-old. Do y'all ever notice when people talk, heavenly position herself to get ready to make a point. She ain't even listening. It's like heavenly. Everything in life is about an understanding. Candy told y'all a long time ago in Escape, what she need from you is understanding. Heavenly be ready to just shut a bitch down. And you know, oh yeah, well you said, you know, well my issue, you know, somebody says, heavenly, you talk too much, that's your issue. Oh yeah, but let me tell you what your issue is. You have not even processed, Heavenly, what the people are saying to you. And I'm going to tell you something. When you have an issue with one person, two person, it might be coincidence. It might be clash of personality. But, Heavenly, you get into it with everybody. Shut your damn mouth. Okay? There's a fine line between comedic conflict and when it becomes too much. And quite frankly, Heavenly, it's becoming too much to the point now where the viewer is getting annoyed with your country. Grandma Hilda ass. Go off, Janice. Where was Janice this episode? Shit, Janice the one with the body, body, body. She the one who needed to be sitting up there with the cum stain sheets. Anyway, y'all, this is getting lengthy. Medicine wives, y'all did the damn thing. And listen, whatever you do, seek to understand before you seek to under be under. Oh shit, I don't fucked up my outro. Whatever you do, seek to understand before you seek to be understood. And wherever you can, spread a little awareness. <laughs> Y'all, Tamar got fired from all her damn jobs, so she had to come make a cameo on Medicine Wise. How's that for 
awareness. Let me get out of here. Bye.